Well, okay, so what are the things you tell your the new parents that come with come to you with their little babies? What what are the things you want them to know in the very early days? Well, you know, first and foremost, I have to watch out for the safety, the medical issues mm -hmm. and things. So we always talk about fever and jaundice and those sorts of things before we send anybody home from mm -hmm. the hospital. But I also like to add in the information about the practical side that yeah. often gets overlooked. And that can be the basics. I mean, it's the pee, the poop, the diapering, all those things that sometimes mm -hmm. as pediatricians we get busy, we're so used to it. Mm -hmm. And you get home, and first 24 hours, you know you're at a loss if you haven't taken care of a baby. Yeah, you know what I found I thought was interesting? Like, with my first, because it seems like with my first, I was so consumed with the, the impending labor and delivery, which was so scary, this big unknown or whatever, that I didn't think about putting together some of the stuff that I could have done ahead of time, like really understanding that you should have a, like a bath station where you yes. have everything right. right there and you don't have to remember it. Because once you come home with this baby and you're recovering and the baby needs stuff and you're sleep deprived and you forget stuff, I mean, it's really right. easy to get there and to go, oh, I don't even have a towel. Unfortunately, a lot of people get wrapped up in the pregnancy. Labor and delivery is the end point mm -hmm. and it's just starting. Yeah, yeah, right. And you forget the rest Boy, of it. Boy, that is an understatement. <laughs> yes. So bathing is a very good example because yeah. once you're confident in what you're doing and you know what to have, and having things on hand is the most important thing because you cannot leave that baby Hand on for the baby five all the time. seconds. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Right. Um, so having everything you need, the washcloths, the baby soap, the, you know, the towel, the diapers, the change of clothes, and if you feel the need that you have to have that phone next to you because you can't miss the call, then put it next Make to your sure baby backup, but you may yeah. not leave that baby while you're bathing. Yeah. I think also, you know, one of the things that I was most afraid of is, you know, you're constantly watching your baby, listening for it, breathing and all this, and when you think that baby is getting sick. I don't care if they're one week old or one year old, that first fever throws people. Yeah. And knowing what to do about it and what fever yeah. really is. Fever in and of itself is not inherently dangerous. Right. It's right. an indication. Now, in a newborn, it's always important to understand, fever is taken much more seriously. And people will sit back and say, should I call? Should I not call? It's not a very high fever. Call. With a newborn, that's an easy answer. You always call. Right. A touch can be so calming, but on newborn sensitive skin, it should be as gentle as possible. Now Pamper Sensitive are the only sensitive diaper and wipe clinically proven mild on some of the most sensitive skin. For a calming touch, now clinically proven mild, Pampers Sensitive. Pampers Gifts to Grow Rewards Program recognizes all that you do for your baby by giving you something back. For more information, go to www.pampers.com.